Can you say hello? Hello to everybody. Can you say hi, Louis? No. Can you roll us a kiss? Can you? Can Can I have a kiss? Oh. I love you. She gives out. She'll give out kisses. Okay. Well, how do we top that? <laughs> Good. All right. Well, Rocco, what's better, having your daughter here with you or the performance from Joe Ryan? You know what? I think they work together really uh, uh, well. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, I'm actually pretty pumped uh, she was here to see that performance because it, it was a really, it was a special day. I said that in the clubhouse to the guys afterwards that uh, you're going to walk around. You know what? Doe, Doe is going to uh, be in charge over here at Dust. Thank you. Um, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Joe Ryan was he was on point from the start, um, and in a day that uh, uh, means a lot, I think, to him and the team and the rest of the pitchers. And that that performance is one uh, that we'll remember for a long time. I mean, he um, from beginning to end, uh, he did everything to dominate that game. He was uh, he was in the zone. All of his stuff was good. He was throwing as hard as uh, as you'll see him throw in the eighth and ninth inning right there. Um, he looked sharp. He was he was commanding his pitches. Split was. I mean, what what else can you say? Everything was um, everything was exactly the way you want to see it. And uh, shoot, everyone wants to just watch him keep going. At that point, all of us included. And so as things were progressing, and you knew that it was maybe a possibility to give him the ninth, how good selfishly did it feel to give him that opportunity and let him close this one off? Yeah, it feels great to let the players go out there and just play and let the pitchers go out there and pitch and uh, do their job. I mean, he was doing his job especially well. And um, uh, that's what uh, the game is about, the, the players going out there and, and performing. And uh, uh, he excelled today. I mean, he was uh, – th I mean, there was no way around – you know, letting him just go out there, I think, and, and finishing that game because of the way he was responding as the game went on. He just he, he kept getting, uh, I think, more and more dialed in, more and more competitive as he got closer. He wanted it more. How long was his leash? Um, I, we don't know because th there's no way to know exactly how far these guys are going to go. It all it all comes down, as usual, mo the vast majority of the time comes down to, uh, you know, how they look at that moment and, and how he's throwing the ball at that moment. He, obviously, he had thrown... Uh, a good number of pitches, but he looked good. He was not. He was not tiring uh, to, to anything that you know we were watching. Uh, we couldn't see anything like that. He still looked great. Did it ever cross your mind at any point that you hadn't had one of these complete games under you? It was that was mentioned uh, by someone recently at some point, fairly recently at some point. But I wasn't really thinking about it um, in this game today, and. Uh, uh, but uh, anyone watching this game, you'll, you'll remember you know, the game itself. You'll remember the fact that from the first inning to the ninth inning, um, this was, this was top-level Joe Ryan. And uh, I mean, he's still getting swings and misses at the end of the game, um, knowing that he probably had you know, not a, an unlimited number of pitches to work with. Because you're looking for almost, you're, you're looking for contact almost at the end of the game. Uh, not long at bats, and and that's what these these guys deal with when they go deep. Um, but uh, he he sure did. He he went deep, and uh, but it was a powerful uh, performance by him. Swings and misses throwing nothing but fastballs in that ninth inning too. It it's he he knew he needed to be in the zone and throwing fastballs at that point in the game for him was the best way to keep himself uh, uh, in that strike zone in that box and uh, challenging the hitters. Thank you very much, Louie. Um, Thank you very much. And uh, uh, he, he did exactly what he wanted to do late in the game, exactly what he needed to do. Um, he looked fresh after throwing however many pitches he, he threw. Uh, he looked fresh, and he looked uh, like a guy that was about to finish the game. You can understand that there are a lot of emotional swings in the 162-game season. How different do you think the feeling the club has is today as opposed to 22 hours ago? Polar opposites? Yeah. You know, 180 degree turn, um, whatever uh, analogy you can possibly come up with. Um, and the, the truth is being able to handle both of those uh, is, is the most important part of, uh, of our game over, over the course of, of the full season. Um, if you can't handle both of those types of swings and, uh, and know what to do, you know, thank you. Um, know what to do. You know, it's always what's what. What do you need to do next? You know, what do you got to prepare for, and uh, how are you going to react to when things go well or not well? And uh, uh, our guys reacted uh, the right way. Our guys reacted in a productive way, um, 
and that's that was that was great baseball from our from our team. It was a Joe Ryan day at the ballpark, uh, but it was a, that was a great uh, great day for our our team. What's it like to watch Buxton do his thing from your vantage point? I mean, two home runs today, nine hundred thirty one combined feet. Is that what it was? Four sixty six, four sixty five. I believe you. I would have guessed more, and I don't even know. I don't even know how to compile that in my head. Um, the way he hits the ball when he hits it flush, it's unlike very many people uh, in, in anywhere in the world in this game. Um, the ball uh, explodes off the bat. It, it's almost like going to the driving range. I mean that. Like that's that's what it looks like when he um, connects uh, the way that he can. And uh, uh, he looked really. Um, Connect his swing looked really connected lower lower uh, half upper half um, he stayed on the ball very well uh, and and that's what it, that's what it looks like he's he's fully capable of that uh, all the time he's put in a good amount of work lately and um, we're seeing we're seeing what it looks like in the game the results are good I apologize you asked something like this a minute ago but could you have drawn up better than Carlos gets one Byron gets two and Joe Ryan gets a complete game shut up to end this homestand and go into nine on the road yep. Um, they're driving the, the the bus today, getting the, getting us going. Um, thank you. Um, he's uh, uh, those those two guys. Uh, they did. They set the tone for the game. Um, Joe Ryan grabbed on, you know, grabbed the ball and, and went out there and, uh, and and rode that early in the game. You know, we got a nice little lead for our guys. Grabbing the lead. Uh, I'm not going to get too too uh, you know wound up or deep on this right now. Grabbing a lead is really important in our game, and um, that's something that we we did today nicely. Uh, but also when they're running a bullpen day too, um, it's especially important to grab a lead because you you take away a lot of uh, uh, options that the other team has to work with. They're not going to want to uh, uh, use all their pitchers if they're down. So you know us getting that lead was super important, um, and then and then Joe just navigated from there. Um. Coming off of yesterday and the win we got yesterday, that was bad. Today was a lot of fun. We came out, we did what we were supposed to do, and we had a lot of fun doing it. So um, I think yesterday we took that pressure off ourselves by coming out and you know sticking through that game. And the day we just came out and played our game. So it's just the nature of the game that three days ago we're standing here talking about patience and it'll come. And now all of a sudden it came in a hurry. Well, that's baseball. Like That's my job, not to let that stuff bother me. And it didn't. So... When you don't let the stuff bother you and you come over that adversity, this is what happens. What did you think of Joe Ryan the day you played behind the plate? Uh, quite impressive. Um, I don't know. You know, you can't put it in words, especially him, his mentality coming into the day. Um, he was locked in all day. Uh, you could tell through his warm ups, his gym work, um, and just his uh, focus. So. Uh, kind of wasn't wasn't a shock once he you know got through those first couple of innings and he walked back in the dugout and he was like man I feel really good like it's just kind of one of those things where you keep keep that positivity and uh, he went out there and kept it going. Your second and third longest homers ever. Did it feel like those in the moment? It don't matter. As long as we win. I know the distance doesn't matter to you, but do those feel good to you to see a carry like that? They all count the same, so if they go over, they all feel good. So this is a big road trip coming up, Buck. Uh, obviously, you just had a big home stand. But what's it feel like when you're in first place and every game matters so much, and now you get to that point of the year where you, know, you can look at the standings a little bit? Um, I honestly don't know what the standings look like. So. I don't know who's been looking at the standings on this team, but the only thing that matters to us is day by day because we know how baseball is. So for us, it's just going out there, keep playing our game, and take this momentum, this energy on the road trip. You've talked about it being tough to find your timing, but what's kind of helped you square up some of these balls these last couple of days now? Um, sticking to my routine, my approach, getting out my own head. Like, get out your own head, you, you tend to do a lot more better things. So for me, it's uh, letting go of those last three days, four days, whatever it was, and turning that page. Do you do anything special to let go of that? No. Every day is a new day. Come in here with a positive mindset and things will change. So what do you find flips that switch for you, if anything? Um, probably, probably just me coming in here being myself a little bit more. Those are the days you tend to try to be somebody you're not. You're not smiling, you're not positive, you're not talkative. Um, try to come in here and be the same every day. You know that that way you're always that, that great teammate and um, great teammates, great players. You know eventually things turn around for them and, and good luck comes. So 
it's just one of those things where I got to stick with what I'm doing and just make adjustments as they come. Did it help to go out and play catch in the outfield and do some more baseball activities? I mean, it ain't like I don't play catch with my little boy. So that that was just something for me here. Once I'm home, I have fun. It's here. Once you get here, your mentality starts to change. Oh shoot, here we go again. I ain't got a hit. I ain't walk. I ain't got on base. That's all. Switch it up from that. Nothing to do with nothing outside. I throw just about every day at my little boy. I'm a dad. Quite wonderful. Quite wonderful. Quite wonderful. Timing almost always? Yeah, absolutely. Timing is, is everything as a hitter. And uh, it's hard to get. It's hard to simulate it in practice. So the only way you can get it is getting reps in the game. Carlos, how important was a game like that? We were getting ready to do nine on the road. You hit one, firing hits two. Joe mows down nine straight innings. Yeah. How important was that kind of game? It was, it was a huge win. Uh, obviously, you know, to even out the series, the way the series started, you know, it didn't look pretty good for us. And then, you know, come back yesterday. And then today was a pretty solid win. It was a perfect game for us. How much do you guys mark on the dugout at multiple 460 foot shots? Oof. Those are impressive, man. Uh, he's a monster. He's a beast. And, you know, it's, it's good to see him back on his usual form and, uh, you know, um, ready to go. It's going to be a great road trip for him. Joe didn't have a splitter until this year, and he's just attacking his own fastball splitter right now. I mean, when a guy's filling up the zone like that, what does that tell you about the confidence that he's got? I just tell him, he just tells me how hard of a worker he, he is, you know. After the season was done last year, you know where he went right after, and he put in the work, and he got this new pitch, and it's been, it's been working really good for him. How much with you and with Byron is it just patience? This is a 162 game season and not to get too high well, and not to get too low. You know, it's just, you know, we, we, especially in my case, I've done it for, this is my ninth season now and I know how it goes. Uh, there's ups and downs throughout the season, but, you know, the storylines are the storylines. You know, I mean, when you're struggling, the storyline's going to be the struggles. When you're going good, the storyline is going to be the adjustments. And at the end of the year, the numbers are always there. So that's all that matters to me. How big was it to set the tone there in that first inning for this one? Uh, it's, it's huge. It's huge to, to just go out there and score first and, uh, you know, give Joe a little breathing room there with a couple runs. And then he was just attacking the zone from the first inning. So he made it, he made it look easy out there.